Being bitten everywhere. All done my back, doing anything in my nails. But this video is going to be my show prep video. On Wednesday, I did have a jumping lesson to practice for Saturday, so I will add that into this as well, so you can kind of see my jumping lesson. And then today, I'm going to go through and put everything in a bag. So I don't forget anything. So I thought I would show you kind of what I'm taking. I do have a list. Let me find my page. Yep. So I do have a list just to make sure that I've got everything. Hopefully I've got to put everything on the list. So I thought I would go through and show you guys. So I'm just going to take Moon's grooming bag. So this one here. So I'm just going to empty out everything into this box of grooming bag put in. so that I have enough space for to put everything that I need to take so I don't forget anything. So first thing on my list is her jumping boots. So these are the jumping boots that she will be wearing. These are the Equilibrium Tri-Zone High Impact Boots or something like that. So they're one step up from their all sport boots. It has a slightly harder plate at the back and it's a little bit more them so I'm going to pop these in here she only wears front on my back I'm going to pop her hairbrush in there just in case I forget to pick it up tomorrow because I will if her hair comes out there I need to repack it so I can use her other brush for here when I pass it in the morning next thing up is a sponge just in case of sponge then I'll be taking her kind of plastic curry comb and her dandy brush, her hairspray. I'm just going on into this one. Uh, I've got her face cloth and her flannel because she is a princess and doesn't like a sponge on her face. So if I need to you sponge that off, that's done. Oh, I got these clear hair bands. I always use boom bands because it's like I've got thousands of them. Um, but obviously I wanted her to have clear ones for the show, so I'll pop these in here. So then to move face cloth down. Feed, I'm going to do a very, very, very wet feed for her, just in case she doesn't eat anything. I mean doesn't drink anything while we're there. She can kind of slop at the feed a bit. Hopefully she will. She's a bit funny with her food if it's too wet. But we will see, so I'll do that. I've got water in the cart, I will show you that. Treat. So I got, I got these from Asda, they're just the um, like baby carrots, um, they were on reduced because they go out of baby today or something like that, yeah. um, so I thought these would be easier than taking the bag of carrots, so I'm going to pop these two in the fridge for now and hopefully I remember to take them, but, so that's what I will be taking for her tomorrow, by spray, um, I will put into a small container just because this is what I use all the time, it's a litre. So I just grabbed a couple more things. I've got a little bottle to put the flies in. I'm going to take some pseudocreme with me just in case of anything, you never know. And then this is the new fly gel that I got, I'll show you. Um, so we'll see how that works. Um, I will put some on her tonight, but I'll leave it in the bag so I don't forget. Bit back in the bag. Uh, so I've got some butt wrap and there's some super um, Savalon in there as well. So, I've got this. so, this is what is in my boot. So, I've got my helmet here with my hat silk that I'm going to wear, which is this one. It's the new Lemure one. 
so I want to switch that over tomorrow and then I've got my Ray Safe body protector love this there are my boots there is my whip in here is my stirrups my girth her breastplate and I brought these ones as well just in case <laughs> then I've got six bottles of this water <laughs> so I've got six bottles of this they're two litres each they were 17p so I just got six um, so I can just open when I need one I don't have to open like a massive thing so that's just there let me pop my body protector back and then I'm just gonna put my bag here so my bag is just there also I'm going to be taking a bottle of squash for me just in case obviously so that there is my boot I know it's very messy but it's fine and then I do have her towel on the top of that bit there so I think that's pretty much everything packed in there so fingers crossed I haven't forgot anything should be handy I need to go and grab her saddle pad actually so I'll do that now so now I've got her saddle pad I should really change my hat silk now shouldn't I probably should but so yeah now I've hopefully got everything that I'm going to need so yes So I am just giving Moon a quick brush off, she's now clipped so it is a lot easier, um, her legs haven't been clipped yet because she was having the vet out on Thursday to have her teeth done, so I was going to do her legs while she was sedated. So the next thing I do is just pick out her feet and I also did spray her feet with some of the stuff that I will link the video to up above. Just because it had been really really wet here so I wanted to spray her feet so it was looking a bit soft and now I am just popping her boots on her plait that you saw in like just before this clip is a new one that I was trying out because Moon has very very silky hair and it's really really soft so no matter when I put hairspray in it or not if I do one full plait all the way down it will eventually come out so I decided to try doing the two plaits then joined into one plait at the end and it worked really really well so I am going to do that for the show. So here I am just popping her tack on. So here is just doing the warm up jump so it was just coming around off kind of like a circle and coming across the diagonal. Moon was really really good this day and um, she was so rideable. Sometimes Moon can be a, she gets a bit excited jumping so she can be a little bit too eager sometimes she was really really good today she was really listening to me which was really nice and then this next exercise is doing the jump the same but coming off of the other rain so coming around and meeting up on the diagonal um, on this first one I did do it quite badly one the quarter line was absolutely awful and two I was way too like far over I should have come over a little bit more and then here we're just doing an upright and then the same on the other side. And I just couldn't get 
over how good Moon was this day. Like she was really rideable. You'll see in some of the doubles that we do, she can get she gets really really flat and she gets really excited. Um, and we also found out that I jump better when I have less time to think. So coming off of like the corner here that you'll see, we always jump this jump really really nicely because I had less time to think, so I had to make a decision and just do it. When I have more time to make a decision, that is when I don't jump very well because I have too too long to make the decision. So here she was really good. She did have a look at that plank, but she went over it. So I did power and said she's a really good girl because she did kind of stop slightly, but then went over it. And then this is a double, and sadly my camera wasn't focused enough for the last jump. You can kind of just see it. But here is normally when she gets really flat is through doubles. So here we're just doing the course again. So here you'll see how as soon as she lands after this jump she kind of goes on the forehand and kind of drags me to the jump. Double, I'm trying to get her forward but not like too forward and she was a little bit better but she still kind of just took me to it a bit too much so I believe in this round we actually put the back of the double up and it did make her kind of sit back a bit I do think that I'm jumping too low for Moon and so did my instructor that I should be doing like the 70 and stuff like that instead of the 50 and the 60 and I do agree with her um, but I'm just kind of a bit chicken so but I really need to start doing it because Moon jumps a lot better and she gives me more confidence as you can see here she does think about this one she sits up slightly and she thinks about it which is really nice. So here we are just practicing some jump off kind of turns and I found this really difficult because I really struggle when Moon is on the wrong leg in canter and obviously they say not to change it in the jump off because it's meant to be like against the time so my instructor helped me out with that and just like I need to support her uh, more which I was actually doing the opposite when she got unbalanced I was kind of just dropping her so that really helped like, like a lot. So here I kept her in canter. You can't really see the things there. But I kept her in canter and it was a lot better. And here I did a really tight turn, but she was on the right lead, so it wasn't too bad. And we actually jumped it really well. So I was really, really happy with that. So I was so, so happy with this lesson. I was really excited to go to the show on Saturday. So yes, I will let you watch me unpack and all of that and I also do her carrot stretches but I just cannot get over how good Moon was and yeah, so I took out all of her plaits because it also was her first trim. She hasn't had her hair cut since I got her, so four years ago and when I was down at the yard I got them to trim her mane just to trim the split ends off so as you can see it's her first trim um, I wasn't going short because I like her to have long hair 
so I can plait it up nicely. So here I am just doing her stretches. Um, I always do these with her after we have ridden. It just helps really stretch her back out and her neck. Um, we've never had any problems like that. So yes. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll leave some extra videos for you on this side and this side and I'll leave the subscribe button up here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.